So, 47 years after its 1977 launch, Voyager 1 is now 23 billion kilometers from Earth. And, you know, engineers still manage to lock onto a radio whisper that's just 0.2 nanowatts, about the power of a Christmas tree bulb if you put it all the way out at Pluto's distance. That faint heartbeat? It actually reveals that interstellar space is dense, structured, and totally alive with magnetic storms. The supposed void, it turns out, is anything but empty. The farther we fly, the fuller the universe becomes. Quick question, did you know we're cruising inside a local bubble sculpted by ancient supernova shockwaves? New groundbreaking data. Right now, at this very second, there's a piece of human technology just screaming through absolute darkness at 38,000 miles per hour, and it just sent back data that's making NASA scientists question, well, everything they thought they knew about space. We're talking about Voyager 1, the little spacecraft that could, and the groundbreaking information it's beaming back from the edge of forever is absolutely revolutionary. So here's what's happening. After cruising through interstellar space since 2012, Voyager's plasma wave subsystem just detected something that's completely flipped our understanding of what's actually out there. You know how we always assumed space was just this empty, boring void between stars? Yeah, well we were spectacularly wrong about that. The new data is showing us density measurements that reveal interstellar space isn't empty at all. It's this incredibly complex, structured environment that's basically rewriting the textbooks. We're seeing variations and patterns that suggest there are massive cosmic structures out there, like hidden highways and valleys in space that we never even knew existed. It's kind of like we thought we were staring at a blank wall, but it turns out there's this entire intricate tapestry woven into the fabric of space itself. And honestly, this is just the beginning, because what Voyager is discovering out there in the cosmic deep is going to change how we see our place in the universe forever. Unexpected Patterns, Galactic Rays, and Cosmic Pressure So, scientists just discovered that cosmic rays aren't randomly bouncing around space like we thought. Instead, they're following these invisible superhighways that stretch across the galaxy, and Voyager 1 is giving us the very first roadmap to these cosmic freeways. This is absolutely mind-blowing stuff because for decades we assumed galactic cosmic rays were just scattered everywhere with no real pattern or organization. But Voyager 1's instruments are detecting these incredible variations in cosmic ray intensity that reveal something spectacular. There are massive structures out there guiding these high-energy particles along specific paths. Think of it like discovering that lightning isn't random at all, but actually follows invisible tracks in the sky. The galactic cosmic ray data is showing us that interstellar space has this incredible organization, with what scientists are calling cosmic highways and valleys that channel particles across mind-bending distances. And here's where it gets even crazier. The pressure measurements Voyager is sending back indicate it's moving through completely different neighborhoods in space, each with its own unique characteristics and properties. We're talking about dynamic pressure changes that suggest these cosmic structures have boundaries, edges, and transitions, just like different climate zones on Earth. This isn't just empty space anymore. It's a complex ecosystem of invisible architecture that's been shaping the flow of energy and matter across our galaxy for billions of years. Voyager 1 is essentially giving us X-ray vision into the hidden skeleton of interstellar space, revealing the cosmic infrastructure that's been there all along, just waiting for us to develop the eyes to see it. Digital CPR, NASA revives a dying spacecraft. What do you do when a spacecraft that's older than most people on Earth suddenly starts speaking gibberish from 15 billion miles away, and the only way to save it is by performing surgery through radio waves that take 44 hours for a single conversation? Well, this is exactly what happened to Voyager 1 in 2023, when its flight data system basically had a complete breakdown, sending nothing but digital nonsense back to Earth instead of the precious scientific data NASA desperately needed. The engineering team at JPL faced an impossible challenge, troubleshooting a computer problem on a machine that's further from home than anything humans have ever built, using 1970s technology that's been running non-stop for 47 years. Every command they sent took over 22 hours just to reach Voyager, then another 22 hours to get a response back, it's like trying to fix your laptop, but every mouse click takes two full days to register. But here's where these brilliant engineers pulled off what they're calling digital CPR. They figured out how to work around the corrupted memory, essentially performing brain surgery on a patient that's floating in the cosmic void. Against all odds, 
they brought this incredible machine back from the dead, proving that human ingenuity can reach across the vastness of space to heal and restore our most distant explorer. The fact that Voyager 1 is still alive and transmitting after this digital resurrection isn't just a technical victory. It's a testament to the incredible resilience of both human engineering and our undying curiosity about what lies beyond. A new kind of map, Voyager's role in galactic GPS. So here's something wild to think about. We just created humanity's first GPS system for interstellar space. And the Navigator is a 47-year-old robot that's currently 15 billion miles away from the nearest mechanic. Voyager 1 isn't just wandering aimlessly through the cosmic void anymore, it's become our pathfinder, dropping digital breadcrumbs that are creating the very first map of what lies beyond our solar system's protective bubble. Every single measurement this incredible spacecraft takes is like placing a pin on a map that no human has ever seen before, marking safe passages and dangerous zones in the vast ocean of interstellar space. The density variations, magnetic field strengths, and particle distributions that Voyager is documenting aren't just random scientific data. They're waypoints for future interstellar missions, showing us the cosmic equivalent of highways, rest stops, and storm systems. This is honestly revolutionary because we're essentially building a galactic GPS network one data point at a time, with Voyager 1 serving as our advanced scout, reporting back on road conditions in regions of space we've never even dreamed of reaching. The spacecraft is identifying stellar wind boundaries, mapping the edges of different interstellar regions, and revealing the hidden geography of space itself. For future missions to Proxima Centauri or other nearby star systems, Voyager's map will be the difference between wandering blind through cosmic storms and following established routes through calmer interstellar waters. We're not just exploring space anymore, we're charting it, one measurement at a time, creating the foundation for humanity's eventual expansion beyond our solar system. Interstellar weather, cloudlets, filaments, and the local bubble. Now let's talk about interstellar weather, cloudlets, filaments, and the local bubble. There's actual weather happening in the space between stars, and it's nothing like the empty vacuum we thought existed out there. We're talking about cosmic storms, interstellar clouds, and massive bubble structures that make Earth's atmosphere look like a puddle compared to an ocean. Voyager 1 is detecting these incredible formations called interstellar cloudlets, massive structures made of hydrogen and helium that stretch across distances so vast they make our entire solar system look like a grain of sand. These aren't just random puffs of gas floating around, they're organized into this mind-blowing web-like architecture connected by enormous filaments of material that thread through space like cosmic highways. But here's the absolute kicker that's going to blow your mind. We're all living inside something called the local bubble, which is basically a massive cavity in space that was carved out by ancient supernova explosions millions of years ago. Voyager 1 is giving us our first real look at what the walls of this cosmic bubble actually look like from the inside, and it's revealing that our solar system isn't just floating randomly in empty space, we're nestled inside this protected pocket of the galaxy. The spacecraft is detecting the boundaries where our local bubble meets other interstellar structures, showing us that space has neighborhoods, weather patterns, and climate zones just like Earth does, but on a scale that's almost impossible to comprehend. This interstellar weather system has been shaping the flow of matter and energy around our solar system for millions of years, possibly even influencing the conditions that allowed life to develop on Earth in the first place. The Legacy Beyond the Mission And now let's talk about the Legacy Beyond the Mission. A spacecraft built with the computing power of a pocket calculator just became humanity's greatest ambassador to the cosmos, and its legacy will outlast our entire civilization by billions of years. Voyager 1 was originally designed for a simple four-year mission to snap some photos of Jupiter and Saturn, but this incredible machine has been defying death and exceeding every expectation for 47 years straight. That's not just beating the odds, that's performing cosmic miracles on a daily basis. The golden record bolted to its side contains the essence of human civilization. Our music, our languages, our hopes, and our dreams and it's currently hurtling through interstellar space at 38,000 miles per hour, carrying our message to whatever intelligent life might be out there waiting. But here's what's truly mind-blowing about Voyager's legacy. Every single discovery it makes is laying the foundation for humanity's next giant leap into the stars. 
the data it's collecting about interstellar conditions, cosmic radiation levels, and magnetic field variations, is creating the playbook for future missions to nearby star systems. When we finally build our first true interstellar spacecraft, the engineers will be using Voyager's measurements to design heat shields, navigation systems, and communication arrays that can survive the journey. This little explorer isn't just a scientific instrument anymore, it's become our advanced team, our pathfinder, and our proof that human technology can not only survive in the hostile environment of deep space, but actually thrive there for decades beyond its intended lifespan. So what's really out there? After decades of sending our most advanced technology into the cosmic abyss, we're finally getting answers to the ultimate question that's been haunting humanity since we first looked up at the stars. What's actually out there in the great unknown? The data streaming back from Voyager 1 is painting a picture of interstellar space that's so radically different from our expectations that scientists are having to completely rewrite their understanding of the universe beyond our solar system. We always assumed that once you left the protective bubble of our heliosphere, you'd encounter this vast, empty wasteland of nothingness stretching endlessly between the stars. But Voyager 1 is proving that assumption spectacularly wrong. Interstellar space is absolutely teeming with activity, structure, and complexity that rivals anything we see in our own solar system. We're discovering this incredibly dynamic environment filled with magnetic field boundaries, particle interactions, and density variations that create a cosmic landscape more intricate than the most detailed topographical map of Earth. The spacecraft is revealing that our galaxy has this hidden architecture, invisible highways of cosmic rays, massive pressure systems that ebb and flow like ocean currents, and interstellar weather patterns that have been shaping the evolution of star systems for billions of years. What we're seeing isn't just empty space punctuated by occasional stars, it's a living, breathing ecosystem where matter and energy dance together in patterns so complex that we're only just beginning to decode their meaning. Voyager 1 has become our window into this hidden universe, showing us that the space between stars is just as fascinating and mysterious as the stars themselves. The Technicals When you're dealing with technology that's older than the internet and running on less computing power than, say, a modern smart toaster, every technical specification becomes a miracle of human engineering that's still performing flawlessly in the harshest environment imaginable. Voyager 1 is currently screaming through interstellar space at an incredible 17 kilometers per second relative to the sun, which means it's covering about 1.5 billion kilometers every year. That's roughly the distance from Earth to Saturn, traveled annually, for the past decade. The spacecraft's radioisotope thermoelectric generators are still producing enough electrical power to keep multiple scientific instruments running, despite the fact that these plutonium-238 power sources have been steadily decaying since 1977. And here's what's absolutely mind-blowing. That famous high-gain antenna is still pointing back toward Earth with precision that would make a Swiss watchmaker weep with envy, maintaining communication across 15 billion miles of empty space using transmission power that's actually weaker than a refrigerator light bulb. The plasma wave subsystem continues to detect electron plasma oscillations that reveal the density of the interstellar medium, while the cosmic ray subsystem measures the intensity and energy spectra of galactic cosmic rays with instruments that were designed using, get this, slide rules and punch cards. Every circuit board, every sensor, every piece of wiring on Voyager 1 represents 1970s technology that's not just surviving but absolutely thriving in conditions that would instantly destroy any modern smartphone. The fact that this incredible machine is still functioning after nearly half a century in space isn't just impressive, it's a testament to the power of over-engineering and human determination. Digital CPR Aftermath and Data Recovery So, what happens when you successfully perform open-heart surgery on a patient that's 15 billion miles away, and then discover that the recovery process revealed secrets about space that no one saw coming? After the incredible digital CPR mission that brought Voyager 1 back from the brink of digital death in 2023, NASA engineers didn't just get their spacecraft back, they uncovered a treasure trove of recovered data that filled in massive gaps in our understanding of interstellar space. The data recovery process revealed something absolutely remarkable about this nearly 50-year-old machine. Despite being built with 1970s technology that predates personal computers, Voyager 1 had been quietly storing backup information in redundant memory systems that engineers had almost forgotten existed. 
when they successfully worked around the corrupted flight data system, they didn't just restore current functionality, they recovered months of previously lost scientific measurements that had been locked away in the spacecraft's digital vaults. This recovered data showed Voyager 1 had been experiencing subtle changes in interstellar conditions that scientists had missed, including gradual shifts in cosmic ray intensity and magnetic field variations that paint a more complete picture of the spacecraft's journey through different regions of space. The aftermath proved that human ingenuity combined with over-engineered 1970s reliability creates something almost indestructible, a machine that can not only survive in the cosmic void, but can actually heal itself with help from home, revealing that our most distant explorer is far more resilient and valuable than we ever dared to hope. The Cosmic Oasis Revelation What if everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe was wrong, and we're actually living in the cosmic equivalent of a Garden of Eden that was specifically designed by the laws of physics to nurture life? The final revelation from Voyager 1's interstellar journey is pointing towards something that's going to completely revolutionize how we see ourselves in the grand scheme of the cosmos. We might be living in what scientists are calling a cosmic oasis. And it's not just a lucky accident. All the data streaming back from 15 billion miles away is revealing that our solar system exists within this incredibly unique region of space that's been shaped by the local bubble, protected by magnetic field boundaries, and positioned in exactly the right spot within our galaxy's structure to allow life to flourish. The interstellar weather patterns, cosmic ray deflection systems, and stellar wind interactions that Voyager 1 is documenting aren't random phenomena, they're all working together to create this protected pocket of space that shields us from the galaxy's more dangerous radiation and cosmic storms. Here's the mind-bending part. The ancient supernova explosions that carved out our local bubble millions of years ago might have been the cosmic gardeners that prepared this region of space specifically for planets like Earth to develop complex life. Voyager 1 is showing us that we're not just randomly floating in an indifferent universe, we're nestled within this carefully balanced ecosystem of interstellar forces that have been nurturing and protecting our corner of the galaxy for eons making us realize that maybe, just maybe, we're living in the most special neighborhood in the entire cosmos. So, there you have it. Voyager 1 didn't just reach the edge of our solar system, it revealed that we're living in a cosmic masterpiece we never knew existed. From digital CPR performed across 15 billion miles to discovering we're nestled inside a protective cosmic oasis, this incredible journey proves that the universe is far more amazing than we ever dared to imagine. What blows your mind more, the fact that 1970s technology is still exploring the stars, or that we might be living in the galaxy's most special neighborhood? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you're fascinated by the incredible stories of space exploration, make sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to Simply Science because the universe has so many more secrets waiting to be uncovered.